I am on the verge of graduating and it's just been a lot on my plate. Everything that I've been doing to move forward has just been a lot. So I was sitting here and I pulled some cards. And this is my first time sitting at my desk in a while. Where are my rings at? Oh, I left them in my bathtub. Let me go get my rings. You guys aren't going to know it's me. Hold on. Let me get my rings. I've been detoxing and cleansing my energy. So, um, yeah, I've just been sitting with myself and uh, finishing up school. You guys never know my rings are different. They're not the same. So, uh, for each hand. Anyway, I've been doing stuff a little different. And so... Um, it's just been kind of like my kids are coming in the garage, but it's been kind of like a mental clarity that I needed to have. So um, I was pulling these cards for the first time of me sitting back down at my desk. Um, besides doing my business stuff um, and I pulled from this card deck, I've been ordering card decks and they just been coming in the mail and I just haven't used them yet because I don't want to give you guys my negative energy if you know you know so yes I feel ashamed this is might not be about me it might be somebody else that's going through this but um the six of swords and the shamed is at the bottom of the deck and it says guilt embarrassed in the wrong um somebody is ashamed of something and that's why they're walking away uh and it says uh clearer waters I think that's what it says clear waters moving ahead and healing the cards that fell out fell out all in one and I did them so they fall out this way and um, this not did them so they fall out this way when I shuffled them and I um, was trying to pull them they came out in this direction because that's how it happened and then I used this card deck and in the reverse getting readings came on and also my son forgot my stuff at the store get out of my room so put my money down hold on one second Anyway, so before I was rudely interrupted because he forgot my stuff at the store, um, he didn't even go to the store. How about that? So it says getting readings and then it says free in the reverse, moving on, letting go and loving you. And it was like something shady and closing this cycle and walking away is here and then also ashamed, guilty, embarrassed and in the wrong. Somebody's feeling some type of way. Maybe it's getting readings. Um, maybe it's letting go or contemplating letting go of something or walking away, but it's moving ahead in order for you to heal and closing the cycle out that at some point, yeah, with the Knight of Swords energy, air energy, high priest energy, um, Knight of Cups, yeah, King of Cups energy, I said Knight of Cups, King of Cups, four coins, the Empress energy, yeah, and the Devil energy. So it is from some type of manipulative, manipulation uh, materialistic and you have been nurturing this situation and also um, being able to at the same time with the high priest being here use your intuition but you know this says um, a non-toxic uh, masculinity and it says uh, emotional maturity and compassion so you're doing things with compassion but at some point you felt like there was a you had to pull your energy back and also look at how you nurtured the situation and was it fair in the process um, of the temptation and the manipulation that this person, place, thing, or situation did to you and you felt some type of shame in regards to it. And so that is the reason why you had to, you're, you're contemplating just fully letting it go. Now, um, I forget the name of this card deck and I don't have it in front of me, but... Um, this is about love, some type of love. So if this is in regards to a relationship, it says, I am, I am mindful of what I have done in the past. And then it says, I walked away before you could break my heart. And at some point, you know, this girl is on a ship and the roses, it looks like are behind her back. I like this little card deck. The roses are behind her back and you feel ashamed because you know that this is your soulmate, but at some point, it's just like, you know what, um, I have to do this for me and I have to nurture me and get in readings at some point uh, when it comes to a shady individual, it's only going to come out the way that it is. And that's basically being truthful of what it is. Now, this is the Cancer Tarot deck. 
Now, this is kind of raunchy, but, hey, you know, we have our, our, our sides to us. And I don't necessarily, I, I think it's a Cancer Zodiac. It doesn't really explain it. I got this, I forget where I got this off of. I think it was Amazon. Um, I got this off of Amazon. But, yeah, see, the Knight of Wands energy, pleasure, Knight of Wands energy, excuse me, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. I'm thinking of Drake, my Drake energy. But the Page of Wands energy is here. And, you know, it basically just lets you know that, you know, it's like it's some type of excitement. You only live once energy. But this is, I don't want to show it, but if you can look, it's a, this is a very, very kind of grown up uh, card deck. Yeah. Queen of Swords energy. So instead of you speaking your mind and pleasuring yourself or knowing that you, you're, you're kind of gagging yourself and not really talking and saying what it is that you need to say and speaking your mind, Queen of Cups energy. Yeah. See, you have the power. Yeah. The moon talking to the moon. So your intuition, trusting in your intuition and the unknown, the Queen of Cups energy is the empathetic nature that you'll do anything for a person. You will, you know, um, yeah, yeah, and especially somebody who you feel like is your soulmate. So at some point when it comes to this energy, the Queen of Cups, your empathetic, empathetic nature is what we always say when it comes to the Queen of Cups, but it's the compassion, the things that you do that comfort you, and that is basically you, you know, giving your all and also not wanting to stand up for yourself, but when it gets to this point, this is no longer here, and that intuition you have to follow and that's where the shadiness comes in at because you can get all the readings you want, but you actually have to be the one that closes the cycle out, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. Um, I'm going to pull from what's the T. This is a different what's the T deck. Again, like I say, I think I got this. I don't know where I got these at. I, I think these were on Amazon. No, they might not have been. I, I forget where they were. I know, I think this one was on Amazon. I have been contemplating getting that one a while ago. But um, it might have been on Timu. I don't know. No facts uh, is here. Um, no facts. You don't have any facts on why hustling, making it rain, focused on getting money. Yeah, so, yeah, happiness, hater. So this person, there's no actual facts on why you should stay, why the toxicity and everything has stayed. That's where the shame is coming in at. It's like make shits up, lies, uh, focused on money, getting money. And that is basically why you have to kind of look at things in a different light. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from this card deck, which is the soulmate twin flame. My cards are just sitting here because I've been going through making room for all the card decks that I've gotten. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not. I won't personally buy any more cards from um, another individual unless it's through a verified site because some people, yeah, divine mission. Some people don't know how to do real business, and that is where I'll leave it at uh, or whatever. So I wish, uh, I wish people the best, and I hope that your finances are great. Um, that's all I ever want. That's why you support your local artists and things like that. So again, um, maybe it's for you to know not to buy any, um, what's well, up to you anyway, love lost and feel your love. So it says the love is lost, but bound, bound by the responsibilities, whether it's children, joint assets and financial re reasons. It says, hopefully an exit plan is in, in, uh, a ho hopefully an exit plan is put into effect. Feel your love. Don't lock into tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibilities for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends, and that is where you are. But the divine mission is about what you need to do. It says your union will impact the world in some large scale that will help heal many of this uh, on this planet through some sort of spiritual service. So the readings could be the spiritual services that you had to come to in order to move forward, but you had to also realize that, you know, sometimes you have to be focused on um, you, and sometimes, even if there aren't any facts behind that, and you're embarrassed, you know, you have to focus on you, and getting yourself to move forward, and that's where the empathetic energy of the king, and the, um, what is it, the king, the knight of swords, 
doing what it is that you need to do. Uh, the Knight of Swords energy also says, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. Your finances, you've been holding them back. That's not who you are as a person. So, again, with the Queen of um, uh, Wands being here, was it the Queen of Wands? Hold on. Yeah, the Queen of Swords being here, the Queen of Cups being here, and the, what is it, the Devil energy, the, um, four coins. It's just letting you know that you have to focus on you and not just your empathetic nature, and that is why you have to make it rain on yourself. Um, makes sense. Meow. Yeah. You have to make it rain on yourself, and sometimes that is because you can keep making up lies in regards to why you're staying, but actuality, there are no facts behind all the lies that you've told yourself, if that makes sense. So I think that's where we're going to go ahead and end it at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. I'm just going to, because they're not organized, I'm just going to grab one from here and see what it is. It's don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. So don't be afraid to be yourself around others. It says the biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to uh, be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. And so that is why you feel ashamed because you feel like because you, you have to make these decisions um, and the divine mission for you is that this person is your soulmate. This is something that you're able to teach other people in regards to how you feel in regards to somebody else's energy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. The tourmalated quartz is the root and the crown chakra. So if you want to, if you're interested in what the, the chakras and also the four agreements are, click the links above. Amplification, deflection, and balance. It says, my masculine and feminine aspects are in tune with other, with each other. And so that is basically where you are. You're going to be yourself around others. You're not going to be afraid to uh, go after the things that you want. And that's where the high priest is, high priest, high priest. And also, um, what is this? The empress energy is. You see the beauty in everything, but you have to trust your intuition and go after the things that you want and understand the difference between the toxicity that's around you, even if somebody is your soulmate. And it's nothing to be ashamed of or over it says that you know that there's no love loss you just have to close this cycle out and sometimes getting readings will help you clarify or you have to pull back on the readings because of the fact that there is no pleasure in hearing the pain that you're going through but it also is a lot when it comes to your divine mission if that makes sense so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys